Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to some of our Pokemon Ultra Sun Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke. Hopefully you guys are having yourselves a great day today. If you do want to go support the episode, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. If we can hit 500 likes on today's episode, that'd be absolutely amazing. So, here we are in the Aether Foundation, I do believe, and we need to go ahead and fight all these Team Skull Grunts right now. This is about to be crazy, but either way, our team is looking absolutely amazing. Looking clean, pristine, supreme, extreme, all of the above. Seriously, literally all of the above. All right, we have Pencil the Mega Ampharos with Earth Power, Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, and Surf. Then we have a God of Space, the God of Space with Outrage, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Boomerang. Luna, the Musharna with Psychic, uh, Thunder Wave, Shadow Ball, and Air Slash. Then we have Gucci Belt, the uh, Slacking. There we go. I almost said Slaking. <laughs> He's got Diamond Storm, Brick Break, Fusion Bolt, and Bullet Punch. Then we have uh, Storm, the Thunder with X Scissor, Smart Strike, Leaf Blade, and Roar of Time. <coughs> Excuse me. And last but not least, Seaweed, the Victini with Electro Ball, Shadow Ball, uh, Ancient Power, and Psychic. Hopefully we can take advantage of that uh, slush rush ability. God, that's like a tongue twister. Hopefully we can take advantage of it though. That'd be really, really interesting. Like if someone sets up the hail, we're just all like, hey, that makes us faster. Or is it hail? I think it is hail. I have no idea. Either way, let's just go ahead and uh, get to smacking these team skill runs, or hopefully smacking, I guess I should say. Let's see, what you got? What you got? A victory bell. All right, we're smacking. We're smacking. Uh, all right, pencil. Yeah, we really gotta make use of this Mega Ampharos, man. This thing is so powerful. Like, the best thing about Mega Ampharos is, like, obviously it's pretty slow, I know, but it's just a bulky Pokemon. It's got a lot of HP. I'm just ready to take souls with this thing. And it's named Pencil. Like, how? You can't, you can't get better than just the nickname Pencil. It makes no sense. I don't know, but, like, the little red dot on its head, that's the eraser, right? You know, you know, black and yellow, that's how pencils normally are colored. There's just no, like, wood color. Smelling salts, I think we're good. We don't need that. All right, let's hop out of here. Who was it that got smelling? So it was our Mamoswine that had Pixelate. That's right. Cause I knew one of our Pokemon throughout this playthrough that we were using like tried to use smelling salts and I just couldn't remember. Then I realized, oh yeah, it died. Sad times, man. All right, ooh, he's flexing. All right, bro, chill. What you got, a Ponyard? All right, I don't know why you're flexing over a Ponyard, but do as you please, bro, do as you please. All right, I'm chugging this. Wait, should I just go for Earth Power? I have no idea. I don't know what type this thing is. Have we fought a Pawnier before? We have, wow, I did not know that. Might as well just go for Surf then. Just cause it's 100% accurate. I think it's like, it's so cool in Randomizers. It's also a little bit weird when like your level up or your Pokemon learns an HM by level up. That's what happened. That's how I got Surf on him. Cause like obviously there's no HMs in this game. Wide guard, keep old moves. So it just like throws you off. I don't know what to say. It seems like if you did have HMs though, you should be able to use the HMs, like if you wanted to. Like, I should be able to fly on my Pokemon that has fly. If I don't want to ride the Charizard. Yo, 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 pretty strong, ain't you? Then go right ahead. Oh. It's only two, never mind. I thought we had to beat all of those. <laughs> all right. I guess like, Game Freak just felt bad that they made you fight all these Team Skull Grunts. They're like, nah, you don't have to fight the last one. All the days that I struggled alone and lonely was all for nothing, is that it? Oh, we gotta fight Guzma right now. That's true. Hey! The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down. You see, I don't know why you keep saying that, because every single time we fought him, we beat him down? Doesn't really make much sense. All right, well, and now it's your turn. You keep, uh, what well, you little misfits, keep getting up in my grill, like a cloud of smoke that I can't brush away. Interesting. Also, <laughs> so that's really, you, you gotta note it, okay? Okay, not that, you don't need to note that. Look at the first, or look at Guzma's first, uh, first Pokemon. Look at the HP, all right? It's gonna be full, okay? It's gonna be full HP. And our homeboy Gladian just took on Guzma. So that means that he couldn't get past this Lumineon. Couldn't do damage to this Lumineon at all, and you just set up the drizzle for me. I am so sorry, but I have to Hydro Pump you right now. I seriously do. Or I need to get out of here because that is actually super effective. However, it's still Lumineon. How much is that? Oh my god. Yeah, how does it feel? How does it feel? That was a crit too. All right, we, get out. we gotta get out of here. I don't know where to go out into. I'm just gonna go out to Gucci Belt just so I can resist the electric move. I'm not putting too much thought into this switch right now. I should have Volt Switch turn one. 
Doesn't really matter though. At least we got a lot of damage off. And that actually did a lot. Alright, let's try a bullet punch. Just because. <laughs> that did nothing! What? I'm gonna try one more. Will one more be able to kill? No, he's swapping out. Matang. Okay. Why the Matang? Interesting. Alright, well, I'm gonna swap out here. Let's go to Seaweed. Let's try to see if we can make a play here. Make a play or two with Seaweed. Alright, what's up, buddy? There we go. Everyone that we face must get so thrown off when we throw out, like, custom textured Pokemon. They're just like, that's... new. <laughs> I didn't know that was a Pokemon. Alright, I'm throwing an Ancient Power off. Just because it's stabbed, like, I feel like it's such a good option to start with. Look at that. Easy. Give me a boost. Damn it. Alright, we got one more for a boost. Let's try it. Give me the boost. Come on. Come on! It's just so helpful. Boost everything. Like, the best thing is just, like, the attack. I mean, not the attack, uh, the speed boost. We can just outspeed everything, which is amazing. And then, you know, working together with the attack and special attack boost. And if we have to take damage, the defense boost come in play. It's just so good. It's so good. I just wish Ancient Power had more PP and was maybe a little bit stronger. I don't know. Because you don't get the boost enough to make it, like, this move insanely broken. Never mind. Alright, I'm just gonna stop talking about that and we're just gonna accept it for what it is because I... Of course it happens as soon as I'm talking about it, right? <laughs> Any other time where I need the boost, it's not gonna... It's not gonna happen, though. Alright, let's just run through his team right now. Bop! Where's the... Where's the Luminion? It has like 10 health. Where is it? Where is it? Show it to me. Oh, like to fire. I don't remember you having that. Hello, buddy. You have Drizzle, too. Holy crap. Why don't these Pokemon have Drizzle? I don't even know what to go for. Shadow Ball? Maybe Psychic would have been better? I don't know. Ice Hammer. Yeah, I was gonna say, doesn't that lower your speed? Maybe he's an Ice type. Let's try an Ancient Power. I should probably sw uh, switch out or heal after this. It's not an Ice type, unfortunately. Actually, no, we should be fine. Barring a crit. Oh my god. Alright, get out of here. Thank god it doesn't have priority. Once I clicked A, or I I'm telling you guys, as soon as I clicked A, I was like, he's about to have a priority move. I just screwed up. I just lost Victini. Oh my god, thank god he did not have a priority move. And this Luminion, you can get out of here, bro. You can seriously get out of here. I know you have Aqua Jet, though, so I'm definitely healing. Look, actually, I'm just gonna swap out. Look at me, I remembered that. I feel like old, like old 2017 Supra. Not too old, but I feel like 2017 Super would have forgot about the Aqua Jet. I'm evolved. I'm a new being now. After multiple hours of meditating under a waterfall, I finally reached Nirvana, and I'm able to remember if Luminions have Aqua Jet or not. That's the exact benefit you get when you meditate under a waterfall. I'm not lying. That's super effective. I don't like that. No! Oh my gosh. Okay. I remember the Aqua Jet, but I, I forgot about the Fusion Bolt. However, even if I remembered the Fusion Bolt, I would have just thought that would have not killed. It didn't kill Pencil when Pencil was at full. Or around full. Like, it didn't even do that much at all, so... What the? Is this thing really just that weak? 97 defense. 104. However, it is a Mega Pokemon. Oh my god. That thing just destroyed me. I had more HP too. I have 174. I have no idea how that kill without the crit. That makes me so upset. Because this mod should have been dead. How did it live a bullet punch? It was at like... It, it... I can't even speak. I'm just so mad. We did not have to lose a team member right there. That's what really, really sucks. We seriously didn't have to. 
I could have just went for brick break earlier on this thing and not bullet punch. Also, why did he swap it out? That was so dumb. Whatever. Luna, rest in peace. That's, that really blows. All right, whatever. We gotta look past it though. We gotta look past it. All right. Guzma, what is wrong with you? I have no idea, bro. I'm sorry. <sighs> Looks like I got no choice. Go on through. Don't mind me if I do. All right, let's go ahead and take the item off, unfortunately. Let's actually give the wise glasses to Seaweed, because Seaweed has all special moves. I feel like it'd be beneficial. There we go. All right. Also, now we definitely have to heal up our Pokemon. Holy crap, we need to heal up our Pokemon. I wish we could revive one too, but unfortunately that's not how it works. All right, there we go. I know I just wasted one. I know. Don't, don't say anything. <laughs> don't say anything about it, please. I'll use my other potion to heal up. I should have one normal one. Do I have super potions? Soda pops. That'll do. I just want a top mob. There we go. Oh, that sounded so weird. Never mind. There's like a strand of hair that's like coming down here. That's why I keep like touching my nose. I think I just got it. Which is really weird because I just got a haircut. So why would hair from here? Actually, I kind of see it. It was right there. Let me just, let me push it back up. There we go. All right. Yeah, before I got my hair cut, my hair was all crazy. Like, it was so hard to maintenance, but now I just literally just boop, and we're good. And Alola to you, Supra. It is the custom of your people to have your Pokemon do battle if your goals are in conflict with those of another, isn't it? That is what we have learned during the course of our research. I may not be well practiced in Pokemon battle, but I will make you leave Cosmog to us. Show him your power, Poiple. All right, Poiple, you're about to show me this power, and if your power doesn't blow me away, bro. All right, well. That's kind of awkward because, you know, like, teammate there and stuff. She got a Serena. Interesting. And it's shiny. Well, all right. <laughs> cool. I've never been so, like, frightened. Like, the T-Pose just throws me off. And I don't know, man. The shiny just really just... <laughs> this really just butters my croissant, man. I don't know what to say. Light of Ruin. Holy crap. I didn't know that move had recoil at all. Is that a fairy move? No, that's um. Is that freaking the Flowette's uh signature move? Is that AZ Flowette's signature, or is it Diancy? No, Diancy's like I can't remember all these freaking signature moves, man. Light of Ruin. I've never heard of that before. I think it's fairy. It's got to be fairy typing. So I guess Gucci Belt is. Probably the best solution for this. I don't know. His feet throw me off, man. It is like, he has two toes. One is ginormous and the other one is like kind of small. I don't know why. Look at it. There's like only one slit. There we go. Okay, wow. We need to get rid of that move. It's super effective on things and it still does like no damage. There we go. Okay. So my theory was correct. It seems to be a fairy type. I'm going to go for Diamond Storm just because I want to see how this goes over. Let's see. I wanna see what this animation will look like. Hey! Okay, I forgot how bulky this Pokemon is. This Pokemon is actually seriously, seriously bulky. All right. Keep damaging yourself, please. Like, that is, that's helping me out take this, uh, keep this thing lower down in health. Like. The damage it does from Light of Ruin to itself. That's helping out a lot. Just keep doing that, bro. Keep working with me. Alright, I think... It'll kill himself. Yeah, there you go. Alright, you should be dead now. I don't know if it's 100% confirmed, but... Ain't no way you're living this. There you go. Especially with the crit, too. You just only did more damage to yourself from that. Let's go. Alright, well, I'm very sorry that your Poipal, uh... Didn't live. But at the same time, I'm not really sorry. Why do we have to have all these physical moves? This is so broken. I need to get rid of something for this. I seriously do. I need to get more special moves, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. We're probably gonna get rid of Leaf Blade for another special move. And this is like us starting the transition into a special attacking Thunderous. Because we've had a physical attacking Thunderous like 
forever, and I was kind of fine with running with that until the rest of the game, like, for the rest of the game, excuse me. But now that we just got nasty plot, I feel like that's a wake-up call of the game telling me, yo, make this thing special, so. Alright, but. Do not fear, Zussie. We can rely upon the strength of the Aether Foundation. We will use Cosmog and send formidable Pokemon trainers through the Ultra Wormhole to battle and defeat Necrozma. This is why we had the scientist Colrus create a device that will be able to restrain Necrozma. The president is going to help us. Please don't get in our way. I'll see what I can do. I will, uh... I'll see. Alright, I need to get some Hyper Potions. Now, it would normally kind of worry me that we're running out of Hyper Potions. Excuse me. <sighs> I just woke up before I recorded this, but... That's why I'm yawning a little bit. Alright, so I have two there. I got Soda Pops. I got Lemonade. I got Full Restore. Whatever, we're fine. I got a Max Revive. Wish I could use that, unfortunately. Nope. I mean, it's not a bad item to sell. You get a lot of money from it, so you know what? I'm not really complaining that much. Whatever. So, are we about to go fight Lusamine? I think that's about to happen, which is kind of crazy. That's intense. Alright. Hello! Ah, uh, Supra, it's been a while since we last saw you. What? You, you came? You actually came to help me, Supra? Thank you, thank you. Hmm, so you know one another. A gifted young trainer like Supra, and he bothers with someone like you. How disappointing. Come on, chill. I don't need your approval, mother, or your permission. I will save Cosmoc. My, you do such incomprehensible things. Calling me mother? I don't have any children. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off and reject my love. So tell me how you'll save that Pokemon. What can you do, Lily? You failed to convince me to listen to you. You don't even have the strength of a trainer. The only thing you'd have a, uh, the only thing you've ever done on your own is steal someone else's research material. It's so terribly unattractive. But know that uh, my fathomless love will save even someone like you. When I protect this entire world from darkness, protect this world. Mother, what is it you're trying to do? Is that why you want Nebby? Is that why you would uh, is that what you would sacrifice Cosmog for? Excuse me, I can't read. That's right. I will force Cosmog to use its power, and it may very well die. But if we will save the world for all my beloved Pokemon, then it is what I will do. Well. That ain't the most crazy, messed up thing I've ever heard. Just because it's loose to me, that's why it's messed up. If you think about it, like, oh, she's trying to save everything. Like, that's pretty cool, but yeah, it's not really it. I want to save Nebby, but I don't. Like, she's literally killing this Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. All right. Ah. <sighs> Here we are. I don't know why Lily came along. It's not like she can really contribute, like, at all. What is this place? I don't know. It seems like it'd be really cold in here. I don't know why. If you want to see, uh, wait, wait, if you want to see, you better hurry. This way. Hello! Alright. I know there's a lot of dialogue here, and I know it's also rather important dialogue, but there's so freaking much, and I just don't want to read it. I would much rather just like casually scroll through the text and maybe read a few of them. But I just want to battle Lucimi right now. That's what I'm excited for. I'm excited to battle Lucimi. Alright, and there's the little Easter egg with like the Slowpoke, Pikachu, and Pukamuku. How they went on an adventure and now they're all here, <laughs> frozen. So I'll open the Ultra Wormhole and take on the Pokemon that would steal our light. Seems reasonable. I don't know. Whoa, Supra. Oh ho, and Lily. I'm so glad to see you're okay. Oh, sweet how. So you came too. Okay, well, I'm just gonna start pressing A. We all know what's going on, Lucimi. Oh wait, this is like the, the showdown. Listen to us, please. Don't open the ultra wormhole. You see, uh... She's like, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> no, she's like, uh... I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. No. I'm gonna be opening this wormhole. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I'm opening this wormhole. You're a family? Yeah, that's like the, the of the game. Perhaps the mind blown is what I was trying to do. <laughs> Sweet how, but those wretched uh, something something besides left me. Yada yada. Yada yada. I'm losing me. Yada yada. I use L'Oreal hair products. Yada yada. Oh, there he is. Just go like open the box. I don't know what to Just go grab it. If I use its entire body, I should be able to control the ultra wormhole. Yeah, just grab the box and run. I don't really see the problem with that. If Nebby isn't, or if you make it use too much of its power, you understand what will happen. 
Like when we ran away from the paradise. Excuse me. I just hit my mic too. Use too much power, it will die. I am Lusamine. Oh, okay, thank you. Well, it doesn't matter anymore if they'll die because it's Lusamine. Okay, perfect, thank you. Yeah, just grab the, it has a handle on it too. Just run up, just, just grab it and run. I don't, I really don't see the problem. I really, really don't. I'm having trouble seeing the problem. All right. Everyone feels the need to strike a pose now. I totally get it. This little effect that they do is just so genius. Like, it seems so ominous and scary. I love it. Like when the ultra wormhole's opening. Oh, sorry, did it freaking work? Oh. That must be embarrassing, not gonna lie. You're trying to resist, aren't you, Cosmo? But why? How gallant you are. You love Lily, don't you? Hee <laughs> hee. Perhaps Gladiator and Lily have both grown up a bit since leaving Aether. But I still won't allow them to interfere with this. <laughs> I just imagine you're going to go into like overdrive mode. I'm going to protect the Pokemon of Alola. I must go to the Ultra Wormhole and meet this Necrozma. All right. Oh, hey, there you are. What's up, Guzma? Mother, if you disappear too. Now you worry for me. Fine, Gladian. I will do what I must to put your worries to rest by demonstrating my strength in battle. Let's freaking go. So apparently I'm the one that has to battle her. I have no idea why, but sure. Let's go. Oh, I almost knocked this thing off. Square up! Let's go. You are challenged by rising star Lusamine. I know Lusamine is a rising star. I knew it. All right. Let's go. Oh, 47. Jeez. I'm gonna surf and then volt switch. I just wanna see how much damage I can get off on this thing before I swap it. Like, if, if this is super effective, I might as well just stay in. Lunge. I should be able to go for one more and then volt switch. I don't know. Maybe I should just, excuse me, stay in and try to kill this thing. With Ampharos. I feel like he's gonna... Potion? He didn't potion! Okay, dang it! I was gonna Volt Switch out into whoever, and then when he tries to switch something in, I can get Switch Initiative, but whatever, it doesn't matter. At least we killed it. I could've just been making plays and plays, even though that's the exact same outcome. Alright, um... I feel like, actually... Let's go to Storm. I just, I gotta remember I can't use Luna. If something happens and she like whirlwinds my, uh, my Pokemon out and Luna comes out, all I have to do is swap out. It's not a big deal. Like, just because I haven't been able to take it out of my party, you know? Or I, I guess I technically could have, but whatever. Let's try this. That doesn't do much at all. That really doesn't do much at all. Let's try a Leaf Blade then. No luck. All right, well then I might as well just Nasty Plot up and then try and Roar and Time this thing because <laughs> if that won't work, I don't know what will. Seriously. There's one. Will-O-Wisp. Okay. I see you, Gramble. However, that's not gonna help you. Eat, the, uh, eat this roar of time. Watch this. Bop. Please kill. Please. Thank you. Because even though it wasn't doing that much damage to me, like that turn, or that, excuse me, that move takes a turn to recharge. So, like, burn damage twice plus two damage hits, like, that, that could have been scary. Eridos. I could stay in, but if I did, I would have to take a, a turn to recharge, and there's just no point. I might as well just go out to something that's fully healthy and it can take on this Eridos. All right. I'm gonna go for Outrage. Ah. There we go. 
See, it's the worst when you lock yourself into this move and it's just, it's just not very effective. Like, you're stuck doing no damage from like two to three turns and it's awful. Or is it three to four? I can't remember that two to three. Boom, look at that. I figured it out right away. I answered my own question. Here's a Shaman. Who did I take on Shaman with the last episode? I don't remember, but I think I'm gonna go out to Victini right now. I feel like this is probably my best bet. Let's see. Hello! Alright, this does not seem plausible. None of those moves are very effective. <laughs> Like, that was probably the worst Pokemon I could have gone out into. I'm sorry, Victini, that's just, that was not your forte right there. We gotta go right back out in the goddess space. Whatever, at least we're not confused anymore. I'm just gonna try this. I don't even know at this point. Sacred Sword? That shouldn't be doing too much. Yeah, I was gonna say we resist that. Nothing to worry about. All right, there's the two hits. We should be good. Extreme Speed me. Go for it. Extreme Speed me right now. Go for it. Look at that. Nothing. No damage. Take this outrage. Pop. And look at that. And look at that. All right. Is it one more Mon? One more? I don't remember. The Sylveon. Okay. I don't think we fought a single Sylveon this entire playthrough. Have we? I guess we'll find out if we just look at the bottom screen. Hey there, how you doing? I've always loved this Pokemon. It's so cool looking. Yeah, we haven't fought this thing, cool. It really is so cool looking, I don't know. I used it the first time I ever played through X and Y and I, I just immediately just loved the Pokemon. Like it's so fun to use. All right, Um. not really sure how I'm feeling about this right now. I'm gonna go out into Gucci Belt. All right, I'm gonna see what we can make happen. I'm gonna see Spirit Shackle. That actually did a lot more than I thought it would. And now we can't escape, that's kind of scary. All right, I'm just going for this Diamond Storm. I hope this does a lot, I really hope so. Ah. Look at that. That did pretty good. Oh my god, okay, if this battle goes sour any, like, at all, Gucci Belt's dead. Easy. Like, we're locked in with Spirit Shack, we can't switch out, and we can't use items. That was so freaking scary. Thank god, like, we were able to kill that Sylveon fast, because that thing was doing damage to me. Gucci Belt would have been as, as good as dead. Like, there's no way we would have survived. Oh my god, it's actually over. I can't believe this is on my screen right now. Dragon Dance. Okay, I know it's stab, but you know what? We should just get rid of Break Break, yeah. That's what we should do. All right. I was about to get rid of Bullet Punch, and I was thinking, well, if we have the attack boost, it's not really going to matter what the base power is, so. Dragon Dance Slacking. That is freaking ridiculous. We're It's it's over. We're too broken now. You should carry this with you on your island challenge. Is that what she just said? Or I don't freaking know. Whatever. She didn't give me anything, so. Her eyes are so wide right now. Ew. Guzma with me. His eyes are wide too. Yes, ma'am. I'm off to defeat Necrozma. Wait, let me go. My partner Noel was born to be a beast killer. I've trained all this time to be able to battle on the other side of that ultra wormhole. See, she can pick it up with a handle. Why couldn't we? You were a sweet boy. But do not worry. You can leave it all in my hands. Children really would much uh, would be much happier if they only listened to adults around them. Is that so? Oh snap, it's going down. We got wormholes on top of wormholes. He's like, <laughs> he jumped right in. Oh, look at how getting some. I never noticed that. I never noticed that ever. How was all up on it? I see you, how? Okay, okay. All right. Mother, why? I don't know, man. Nebby, are you all right? Ne Nebby? What is it? 
I've always hated Cosmo. It's just so weird looking. It's also really, really small for some reason. It changed forms and it's not moving. When you buy something online and it comes in the mail and it's not at all like what you thought it was gonna be. <laughs> that's what Cosmo is. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm hopping out of here. Like ASAP. I'm tired of this. There's Wick. She's always there to defuse the situation. Alright, is that her name Wick or Wiki? We were all unharmed. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, maybe. But there's still a ton we have to do. There's this president, uh, there's the president and Kuzma, who both disappeared into the Ultra Wormhole. Not to mention Kozmog and why it stopped moving like that. Even if she is like that, Lucimina is still our mother. We can't just leave her in some unknown world on her own, even if it is to defeat Necrozma. And if she doesn't come back... What is this? That Lucimine. She's not defeating Necrozma for our sake, but for her own satisfaction? That's what, yeah, dude. Miss President, why, uh, why would she do this? The machine that the scientist Taurus helped develop with our technology, the machine that would restrain the Cosma, we were going to send it back to our world uh, with someone strong enough to safely use it, but she's going to use it for herself. What was that you just said? You said you were going to send someone back to your world? Do you know some other way to open an ultra wormhole? The Alteron Pony. The Pokemon that appears there is called the Beast that Devours the Sun. We rode on the back of the Pokemon like that, and that's how we got here to Alola. Lusamine and Guzma, do they not truly hundred, uh, would do not understand how strong Necrozma truly is? Or do they go to fight it? Or do they go to fight it even knowing that? Excuse me. Mr. Trainer, and all of you, if Necrozma awakens, it will come to steal the light of Alola. It must protect the world's light. Uh, Alola is so brilliant and nice. I have a difficult time with such brilliance. Um, but the light of Alola is a good thing. The aura of your totems, and yes, even the light of your Z powers. But now, if you'll excuse us, See you guys. Bye. All right. Miss Lily, if you and your friends would like to get some rest first, I've prepared a few beds in the staff's residential quarters. We'll take you up on that. Yeah, I'm beat. I think I'll stay here. I want to spend time trying to understand what my uh, what it is my mother might have been thinking. Excuse me. I can't speak. All right. Ah, oh, man. And Luna's still dead, even after hearing that noise. <laughs> I gotta drop Luna off in the PC as soon as we get to one. As soon as. Hopefully I don't forget. I don't think I'll accidentally use Luna. I don't think that'll happen, but... Hopefully I don't forget to put it in the PC. Alright, well, holy crap! We just did so much stuff, and I think that's a great spot to go and wrap up today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. 500 likes is the goal, so that'd be awesome to hit. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.